Bye. I'll be back. I know, you'd love to come with me, but not today. While Megan is working on her luxury lifestyle and tan, she has completely figured out how to do the whole work from home thing. A busy week for her is like, let's go ask. How many hours are you working this week? Am I? Yes. I'm working enough hours. How many would you say? I work um, about 10 to 15 hours a week. 10 to 15 hours a week? Yes, but I work very hard. Those are a very busy 10 to 15 hours. Okay, learn from the master. She should start her own like productivity channel. Meanwhile, I, I think I've decided that I'm saying no to an investment opportunity, but I kind of want to make sure and go test out the product. I have not been very happy with the audio quality from this GoPro. We're in an environment with air conditioning and road noise. I'm gonna test out some different microphone solutions for all you vloggers out there. So much to get to today. I totally forgot it was Prime Day. I might be getting this for free. So they no longer carry the pizza crust I was looking for, but they do have the sandwich bread. They call it sandwich thins, made with cauliflower. I'm gonna give it a try. So you may have heard of cauliflower. You, ca you've obviously heard of cauliflower. You may have heard of Kali Power, Kali Power, and Kali Flower. These names are so confusing. There's Kali Flower and Kali Power. And this is the alternative. And from what I've seen online, they get even better reviews. And the other thing I like better about it is it's the one we have access to invest in. But I told Chris this morning that I think I'm going to pass on it, but before I officially say no, I've really got to at least give it a try. Oh. Check this out. So this is the GoPro Hero 7 Black, and then this is a Rode Video Micro. Um, I couldn't put it on top because there's a windshield in the way. And then I'm also going to try, this is just a lav mic. Put in the visor and ran the wire around. So today's a day of testing. Taste testing, fake cauliflower bread, and sound testing to see if we can make these vlogs sound a little bit better. Let's do this. If anyone knows how long you can keep a GoPro in a hot car, we're meeting tomorrow to talk about this cauliflower investment. I told Chris this morning that I think I'm out, basically because while I do think that Kali Power and Kali Flower will do well, they might even be the next Beyond Meat. The cauliflower bread replacement seems to be an easier to perfect thing for mass distribution. I didn't realize that it wasn't brand new. California Pizza Kitchen has had it on its menu since early 2018. The only other national chain that I'm aware of that has it is Pi 5 that we taste tested over on Dumb Money. It seems like if one of the other players, Domino's, Pizza Hut, Pizza Inn, which is owned by the same company as Pi 5, I believe, they're going to develop their own. They will probably need someone to manufacture it for them. They're not going to say, we're now serving Kali Power or we're now serving plant power. Even if after everything shakes out, that does become the preferred brand, I would think restaurants are going to want to have the appearance of having created their own special crust. I do want to taste the product because if it blows me away, maybe I'd reconsider. So my idea is I'm going to my favorite local sandwich shop and I'm going to have to make a sandwich and then I'm going home and I'm going to deconstruct it. Can we get a number five on white bread, a uh, half? Can I get a name for your order? Hey there, Dave here. Oh. <laughs> Follow me on YouTube. Okay. This is what the place looked like when I used to come here growing up. This place has been here since 1974. We used to have like every school picnic catered by this particular place, New York Sub. So nostalgic. I feel like I'm ruining a perfectly good sandwich with fake cauliflower bread. Time to whip up a sandwich taste test. Starting with a sandwich that I know will be good and seeing how it tastes on these cauliflower sandwich thins. I'm gonna follow their directions to the T. Bake at 425 for seven to 10 minutes. Use wire rack. So I guess I'm having a bit of a toasted sandwich. Hello, are you hungry? Um, do you have food? I got a New York sub and I'm gonna try it on this cauliflower bread. I'll have a bite, bye. You can tell me what you think. I'm having this phone call. Megan is literally sitting out there on the patio. Kind of 
kind of smells like you would expect. What is that? It's kind of a... I don't really like the way it smells. It smells just kind of like a rubbery egg. It says to toast it on a wire rack. We're gonna bake this at 425 for seven to 10 minutes. Alexa, set a seven minute timer. Seven minutes, starting now. And thanks to editing, that seems way easier than it was. They still smell kind of like a burnt omelet. Time now to deconstruct and reconstruct a sandwich. Look at that. Basically just going to transfer the entire sandwich from bread to cauliflower bread. It doesn't look half bad. I know for a fact that this is the best possible version of a sandwich on cauliflower bread because it's made with awesome ingredients. Perfect. So what we have here is you get half of a cauliflower sandwich and half of a regular sandwich. No one ever makes me lunch after a swim. I'm your pool boy. Are you trying the uh, cauli yes. one first? First thoughts? It's adequate. <laughs> now the ingredients are really good, but to me the crusty, the bread is not bread. It's kind of like if you had a meat sandwich omelet. I would probably just assume make a lettuce wrap and not have any carbs and whatever else they put into that to make it have that consistency. Well, and that's the thing. This is this particular brand only has four ingredients. It's egg, Parmesan cheese, um, yeast, and cauliflower. Mm. And if you're going to make this at home, I think buying it packaged is way better from what I've read. People who've tried to make this at home have had terrible experiences. Right. I'm not sure I would want to spend the 20 minutes warming up the oven. Yeah. For seven minutes what? cooking. How much were these? Seven dollars. For how many? Two plus whatever's left in there. Six. Yeah, so a dollar each. That's not bad. That's way cheaper than you could make that yourself. Oh yeah, but um, way easier. I mean, if I were going low carb, I would just eat the insides of the sandwich. Mm-hmm but I do love a New York sub. To reconstruct a sandwich, just preparing the fake bread took me 20 minutes. I think what impressed Megan most about that experience is that I actually know how to use all the appliances. So after all that, I'm feeling good about my decision to pass on this investment opportunity. I'm hoping for the best for Chris and Jordan's sake. We'll have their side of the story on next week's Dumb Money episode. So if you haven't yet subscribed to Dumb Money, do that now. If you haven't subscribed here, why not do that? And if you liked this episode, hit the like button. Let me know that you liked it. And also let me know in the comments what you think about this whole cauliflower craze. That's going to do it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.